How's it going out there, everybody? As always, I am the Wolf Knight, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now, I know last episode, we was kind of, you know, mostly talking and an explanation. But we're really gonna, we're gonna get into the gameplay now. We're gonna start by basically doing some of the quests. It is the uh, merchant day right now, so we need to bring mer the merchant a trade license to start a business and hiccup grass. We're just waiting for our uh, teleport stone to fully recharge. But uh, we'll talk a little bit about the DLC for the... Uh... Now, if you see, we have this contraband box here. Now, the quest for the donkey will basically just be gathering up these items and bringing them to it. You see, right now we need a magic pumpkin and send weapons. Battle horseshoes and iron unicorn horns. Now, uh... Basically, both DLC, uh, especially the Stranger Sins DLC, is a good way to make money. Especially, you know, late later in the game. Ah, oh, dang! We just missed the merchant. Well, that sucks. Where'd the merchant go? There he is. Too bad that I can't, like, interact with them while they're on the move. But we're gonna, basically, now, since we missed the merchant, we're gonna teleport back home. We wanna do a little bit of alchemy research. So, let's head over here to our alchemy table, because we got a bunch of stuff I wanna research a little bit. Let's see how much faith we currently have. 41 faith, so we'll have enough to research all this stuff. Study table. We want to research sulfur. Decomposes into some powder. We get a good bit of points. Research this B. Can be made into powder or fluid. We'll research the flowers. Or powder. This one should be powder as well. No, no fluid in essence. Let's get this white flower. This should be fluid in essence. We search the moth. And powder in essence. See anything else we can research? And nothing that can be broken down. So let us come over here to the alchemy mill. So what we're gonna do is uh, grind the sulfur. And we get some life powder. Grind up the bee, we get order powder. The red flower, we get toxic powder. Finally, from the moth, we get some chaos powder. And we we'll want to come over here to the alchemy, uh, I believe the, yeah, hand mixer. See what we get from this. Slowing solution. This is order solution. The yellow flower we get. Life solution. From this we get some more order solution. Now we want to see what we can get from these three. So white flower. But I'll take a second for that to distill. But we want to make a uh, health potion for cloth, though. So let's see. I believe it was some life powder and life powder and some chaos solution. I believe it was. No. Uh, let's see. Actually, I, I know one. I think I remember one. I believe it was some health powder and life solution. I believe that made a healing potion. No blood goo. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what it was to make a health potion. Hmm. 
I can't fully remember, but it was some. It, I think it was like. It was like. I think it was like. Like some solution. Hmm. I'm gonna have to. I have to Google it. Wait here for a second to see if this is. I don't think this is what we need. I believe this is order solution. Or, uh, order extract. Because I don't think it's health extract. Yeah, order extract. So, let's try the. Let's try the yellow flower, actually. Hmm, that's. Ah, uh, that's. A, I think that's life's. I think that's life extract. Now, I believe that. I believe that. Yes, I believe it was life extract and. Health powder, if I remember right. So I kind of need to go of health. It takes four of these to be made into something. So let's see. Let's get rid of all this goo. Store all these powders and solutions on there. Clear up some space. Because we don't really need any of that. We just want to keep that stuff. So we'll just destroy all this. Once this finishes distilling, which is going to take a second, I believe that'll be everything we need to make us a health potion so we can complete Clotho's quest. So I'm going to store all this in there. We got a bronze story, so put that up. Oops, I forgot to put the moth up. You go in there. Back home. Let's jump in the bed and get some rest, and by the time we wake up, that should be finished making into a uh, solution. Or I keep saying solution, I meant extract. But yes, I believe it was health powder and life extract to make a healing potion. And this one, it's, you can make uh, alchemy items, out, you can make like any kind of potion or whatnot out of, you know, if it's two or three items. Like the health potion could be made out of four different stuff to total. So let's see. So health powder. And so no, it wasn't health powder. Hmm. Why can I not select a life extract? Hmm. Hmm. Life powder. I don't want to really try to waste my ingredients. Health powder, life powder. I have such a bad memory when it comes to the alchemy in this game. <laughs> so let's see. To, I'm trying to remember what it was needed. Hmm. I looked it up. I looked it up yesterday. What was needed to make a health potion? But I can't necessarily remember. What do we still have? This life extract. But I believe I know a, a simpler way to solve this. We only have a rusty sword right now. But I believe we can come over here to the dungeon. There's usually a decent chance of finding a uh, health potion in the dungeon. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll go into the dungeon to see if we can quickly pick up a health potion. 
Oh my god. Ask and thou shalt receive. The first pots we break and we immediately get a health potion. All this time I spent fussing with the alchemy and I... I could have just easily gone over there and just cracked open the first pot and I immediately got a health potion. Hmm. Alrighty then. <laughs> Spent all that time fussing with alchemy trying to remember how to make a health potion. And what's the first thing that happens? Oh, looky there. I managed to get, uh, exactly what I needed. It's like, wow, don't I feel stupid now. Because I wanted to get, uh, Clotho's shop opened up because for five silver, she'll sell you a alchemy recipe and it'll be a random recipe. So, when you get to where you can start making at least five silver every so often, I recommend every day that if you have the silver, go to Clotho and buy one of the alchemy recipes. We're just waiting until morning. And now we will book it over to the swamp. To give Clotho this potion, so she'll open her store. We can't do we can't do crap right now because we don't have money. We only have two bronze co coins, and we need silver coins. So it's not too expensive, but you know, early game, you know, five silver is decently expensive. So now we just come over here. Miss Clotho, I have your healing potion for you. Give her a health potion. Alrighty. Now we just have to bring her a silver star pumpkin and a gold pumpkin. And as you see, we can trade. For, like I said, for five silver we can buy an alchemy recipe. So let's see, we've got, a, we've got access to all these uh, different alchemy components. But, you know, they're still all pretty expensive. So let's port back home. So it's uh, currently mail day right now. You know, make 10 Silver Star wine, get rid of the Inquisition Guards, and Witch Hill. We can't really do anything like that. We can't do that right yet. Came down here and check. I couldn't remember if we had it burned a body or not, but apparently we did. So let's see. Oh yeah, uh, in order to build the uh, tavern, you'll need 50 silver. Or no, 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 not 50, 30 silver in order to buy a piece of land to be able to get the tavern built. Then you'll basically just need to deliver some stru uh, stuff to the brothers. Where are they? To the brothers uh, Tress and Cory. Uh, you just have to deliver some items to one of them and then they will construct your tavern. You know, it'll be relatively small, then you'll basically upgrade it and uh, stock it with beer and food and that'll be sold and you know, that's a good way to make money. So right now, we need to grow a silver and gold pumpkin. And I think... We have a few silver seeds. So, yes we do. We have some silver star pumpkin seeds. So let's get a few of those planted. We'll also, uh... Fill up this with, uh... Carrot seeds. So that way we can have our donkey be ready to bring us more bodies when we need it. We're not really focused on the graveyard aspect right now. We want to be focused on the other stuff. Basically, we want to be focused on doing the DLCs. What we're going to do right quick is grab a few pails of water. Get about five of these. And 
and we'll basically turn them into water. Let's grab one more pail to make it uh, evened out. Alrighty. Let me deposit this uh, little bit of stuff. Some salt. The ash. And as we say, as we burn bodies, we'll save up to make uh, colibrariums or you know whatever they're called. You know, I can't, you know, I have, a tr I have trouble pronouncing certain stuff. We now have enough uh, points saved up. We can make two more beds. That's exactly what we're going to do. There we go. Let's see if we can set these up with some seeds. Once we get these built, or dug, I should say. <laughs> Dig you up. Now, we didn't, we forgot to set this to, we forgot to set it to being infinite. So, infinite. Set to infinite. And set to infinite. Now the great thing about the uh, chef, once you have the kitchen built for, she'll basically start turning, you know, like wheat into dough, and like start making all kinds of food and whatnot, which is great. Let's put all that water in there. Just top them off on water. But yeah, once you, I think once you get the well built and supply them with a little bit of food. You know, they'll start finding mushrooms and berries. Keep them relatively happy. So let's see, what can we, what do we want to build next? So we can go for a cooking table, which is, needs six refugee happiness. I think we'll finish off with the uh, last garden bed. And then we'll go for another refugee. Let's uh, pour it back home. Let's see, what do we want to do now for... Bucket of blood and five bloody nails for steak. We need acid and restoration tools. Now we can't get the restoration... We get the restoration tools from Snake. So we should do his stuff for him. What I think we want to do first is we want to get a steel sword. So that way we can, you know, be more damaging. So let's see. Do some few bits of steel. And I don't believe we can do steel parts yet. Let's check our technologies and when we get that. It should be in smithing. Yes. So we need 200 red. So we're not going to get that. We're not going to get that for a minute. We have the necessary green and blue. But we're only 77 red. So, hmm. What can we do to get a lot of red points? Ah, I know. We can use, uh... I don't think we can make a cake for the advantage of a certain, uh, let's see, cake. Berries, honey, and a pastry dough. And we can't, well, we might be able to buy, yeah, we can buy a uh, cake from the uh, dead horse to take advantage of uh, the little you know, buff that will increase how much uh, tech points we get from researching item and we go down. We can then go down to our research table and research one of these. Because this will give us a lot of points. It'll take like 10 faith to research one of these and it'll be relatively slow. But if combined with the perk that gives us extra points, we'll score a lot of points. 
So I'll try to get the necessary red points off camera, and when I do, we'll start back on the next episode. But anyway, guys, thank y'all for joining me. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.